Hi guys, it's Drea here. Today is my first update in my makeup use up for 2017. I will link that video below if you wanna go watch it where I kind of introduce what I'm doing. But basically this is things I want to use and or use up completely within this whole entire year of 2017. So I am not a project panner. <laughs> I've always said I don't, I don't know. I, I respect people that do it, but it's not for me. Like. I like having so many options and I don't like being tied to things. And I also don't wanna get sick of the things that I love because I'm using them all the time or trying to use them up. So um, that's where I approach this from, but I will say this, this being my first update, I'm having a lot of fun with this so far. Today I'm gonna to show you my progress on everything and kind of go through the things that I've learned so far and things that I've used up, of course. And then at the very end, I have about five things I've decided I want to add into this project. So we'll talk about those when we get there. A few things I didn't mark. I don't know why when I started this project, but a lot of stuff I did. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. When I put this in the project, it was new. I think I had maybe used it once or twice, so it was pretty much exactly full. So now it is down to there, you can see. I put stickers, little emoji stickers on all of these products because when I keep them in my kind of everyday makeup area, I don't want to put them away by accident or forget to use them. So stickers really help. And next primer. Okay, so this one is the Estate Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. I love this product. I've talked about it to death on my channel. And this is basically just like a roll up blurring primer and you can just kind of put it wherever you want it to go on your face. I thought I had marked this on a piece of paper, but apparently not. So I'm a little annoyed at myself. But what I will say is this goes a long way. When I first purchased this, I looked at the amount of product and the price tag and I thought, oh, that, I don't know, like it's it's a good product and everything, but it seems like a lot of money for what you get because I use this almost every single time I do my makeup. For a little while I was using a little mini of the Benefit Professional, but like seriously, I use this all the time and there's still a ton left in it. So another product that wasn't really marked because I couldn't see through it before was my foundation. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. Don't you just love makeup companies and the long names they come up with? So this, when I first showed it to you guys, was it was really hard to see in, but I think I estimated it was just right under the Smashbox name right there. And as you can see, I'm about halfway done now. So pretty good progress on that one. For my two eyeshadow palettes, my goal is just to hit pan on one shadow in each palette. It doesn't matter which one. I'm not focusing on one in particular. My goal is just to use these palettes like I normally would and then just see what happens. But just, I think I'm becoming more aware of using them more often so that I get good use out of them. I've done a couple tutorials with the Modern Renaissance palette. I should just leave that plastic out of it because every time I open this, it goes flying and I don't really need it. So you know what, I'm not even gonna pick that up. So this is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I have not yet hit pan on any of them, but I definitely have some dips going in a couple of them. Um, most notably Primavera right here has a nice big dip in it. I wore this the other day, just kind of like on my inner two thirds and I just was stunned by how pretty it was. Tempura definitely has the deepest dip and that's because I use this shade to kind of blend things out with. I use it as a brow bone highlight. Honestly, if I hit pan on this first, I'm just gonna keep going because I feel like the brow bone highlight is usually the one you're just gonna use the most and you're gonna hit pan on pretty quickly. So I'm not gonna count that one in this palette. And then the other one here is the Naked 2 palette, the Naked 2 Basics palette. I always call it just the Naked 2 palette. And again, not like, haven't hit pan on anything yet, but I'm getting some nice deep dips on it. I will say if I hit skimp, I'm gonna count that because this palette I really just use when I pair it with singles and sometimes other eyeshadow palettes that are missing colors I need. So I don't use this in the same way I use the ABH one, so I'm just gonna count whatever shadow I hit on that one. My MAC Painterly is going strong still. Um, when I first showed this to you, I had just hit pan like two days before, there was the tiniest little dot in the center, and I definitely worked it down on the sides. There's quite a bit um, left still, but I've used up a ton. I love this product. I use this as my only eyeshadow primer. I use it all the time. It works so well for me. When I go through this, I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll 
try another one. This one is really hard to see progress on, like really hard. Um, I can't see anything, even like holding it up to a light, I can't tell. It sounds, it sounds pretty empty. Like, you know that sound? Um, but this is, did I even say what this was? Lancome of Fasterness Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. Mine is in the shade Claire 220, or 220 Claire 11. I really love this. This is like completely waterproof. It's got a nice creamy texture that's still very full coverage. I use this on my no makeup makeup days. I'm really, I'm really tempted to film like my no makeup makeup routine. And let me know if you guys would like that because I use this kind of in place of foundation. So I don't use it all over my face. What I'll do is I'll put a nice big triangle under my eye because I definitely need concealer because of my dark circles. And I'll just blend it out and I'll kind of just blend it as far as it needs to go, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's how I've been using it. I'm definitely getting good use out of it and I really love it. I hadn't hit pan yet on this in my first video, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. And as you can see, it is just like, it's so good. I use it all the time because it is so good. Um, this has been just my go-to powder and I love it. It's fantastic for oily skin. Mine is in the shade Creamy Natural. It has a tiny bit of coverage, but not a ton. And my other face powder I have used, but you know, I'm definitely focusing more on that one. This is the MAC Medium, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. And that is what it looks like. You can see it's completely, well, there might just be a tiny little bit of the dome still here, but this whole side is definitely flat. And I'm just getting good use out of this. So once I work through the NYX one, I'll definitely just go to the MAC one and see you know, how fast that takes to use up. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, again, really hard to measure progress, but I just watched, um, I quickly skimmed my video last night just to see. And the ripples were still, like they weren't full on ripples when I started, like these little kind of ripples in it, but um, they were definitely more pronounced than they are now. So I can definitely tell that I'm getting a lot of use out of this. I use, like this is the only bronzer I use practically. I sometimes use other ones, but very few and far between. Um, this is a really nice matte bronzer. It's nice and pigmented, but not too pigmented. Like just the perfect amount of matte bronzer that I need to warm up my face. And I really love it. It's, I'm, I'm still like, is it getting hard pan or not? Because in some spots it looks darker, but I haven't had any issues picking up products. So I don't know. My champagne pop, by the way, I'm wearing practically all of this stuff on my face today, whatever I could, um, with the exception of the eyeshadow. So I'm wearing this today. This is champagne pop from Becca and Jaclyn Hill. I mean, like, can we just, this is just one of the most beautiful, highlighters ever. So my goal on this is not to pan it, it's just to hit pan on it. And ever since I started this, I've definitely found myself focusing on this more, which I'm happy about because it's getting me to use the things that I like um, more often. And there is a definite dip in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see it. It might be really hard to see, but it's there. I can see it. There's a definite dip. So who knows when that'll happen. I'm sure once I actually hit pen on that, I'll bring in another highlighter to do the same thing with. I just haven't decided yet which one it's gonna be, so we'll have to leave that for the next update. And the other highlighter that I am actually trying to use up is the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. It's the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. So the thing that I've kind of learned with this, I, you guys, I've used this so much in the last year and a half. I use this constantly because I kind of treat this like a layering highlight. So I'll put this on first, then blush, then whatever regular highlight I'm going to use. And I feel like this just intensifies everything because it's kind of underneath. Um, you can definitely use this on its own and it's more of a, subtle highlight. It's still pretty, but if you're into like kind of subtle sheen, you would probably like it a lot. But for me, um, I don't really like to use it on its own, but I use it all the time because I'm layering it. And even with using it constantly, I'm looking at it going, it looks the same as when I started. Like it's definitely flat, but there is no sign of hitting pan anywhere. And this is like there's still a ton in here. And this is a sample size. Like I can't even imagine the full size, which is much bigger. So I'm a little less confident on that one than I was when I started this whole project, but 
We'll see. I did use up completely my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, so I'm really happy about that. I just used that up a few days ago, and that is now gone out of my collection. I'll show it in my empties. Do I have another concealer to talk about? I don't think so, but I do have this. So <laughs> this here is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Brightener, and my mark has kind of worn away. The mark was right there. The product is now kind of up there. I have used very little of this and there's very little in here to begin with and okay here's my thing with panning i have started watching a few panning channels and i really like i really enjoy watching them but it's just not for me like i hear i hear people say the same things over and over i hear this a lot well i hate this product so i'm going to use it up to get it out of my collection and to me, that just not does not compute. And I'm not trying to judge anybody. I'm just saying, like, from my perspective, I could never do that. Because if I hate something, I don't want to put myself through the pain of having to use it just because. Like, to me, that doesn't, it just doesn't work. So this, I really don't like. This does not work on me. This is, okay, you can use it as a brightener under your eye. But for me, with super dark circles, it doesn't work. It doesn't cover anything. It doesn't brighten anything. So what I was doing with this was just using it kind of like in the highlighting spots on the rest of my face. And what I found is that this really sinks into my pores and just emphasizes them way too much. And so I just don't want to put myself through the pain of using this anymore. So I'm just going to take it out of this project altogether. I hope you guys aren't mad about that, but that's just my personal choice. And I just, I just can't with that product. <laughs> So um, next thing is this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. So this is what I use to set my eyeshadow primer with because with oily skin, this product does nothing on my face. I know a lot of people love this for like brightening and giving them radiance and I think that definitely will work on a lot of skin types, but it doesn't on mine. So the only way that I could really think to use this up is to use it as kind of setting for my... Um, eyeshadow primer. So I have definitely worked through a lot of this. I hadn't even hit pan on it in the first update. I was very close. Like I could kind of see the little design underneath coming through, but I hadn't yet hit it. And now this is almost used up. Like there's really just what's on the outside and I've had to actually use a tiny eyeshadow brush to kind of just go around the edge and then set. So that will definitely, I'm sure, be used up in the next update. Next thing is this. This is the Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Brown Sugar. You guys, this was completely full when we started. And I'm so proud of this. Look at that. But I told you, actually, let me find it here. So this is where we measure, where I measured it from the bottom. Here's where I measured it originally from the bottom. You can see, like, like I said, it was completely full when I started. So I use this as if it was a lip balm. I use it around my house, even when I'm not wearing makeup. It looks kind of crazy sometimes because it's this very deep brown shade, but I, you can see I'm using it up, so glad about that. Next thing is this from the Estee Edit. This is the Inside Track Eye Kajal. One side is Bold Bordeaux, one side is Urban Nude. You can see I'm definitely using this side up faster. That is because this side requires more sharpening for when I'm doing like my lash line. I don't like it to be very thick because I feel like I get too thick of a line. Whereas this, I don't need to sharpen as often because I'm using it just in my waterline and it's so pigmented and creamy and it so little goes such a long way. I just don't need to sharpen it as much. I definitely use this side way more than I use this side. So there is the Bold Bordeaux, and there is the Urban Nude. It's crazy because I use this all the time, like all the time, and it seems like I haven't used it at all. So this is obviously going to take way more um, than I thought it would. Like it'll probably take the full year. Okay, this blush. <laughs> I love this blush. This is the Laura Mercier Second Skin Cheek Color in Lotus Pink. This is one of my favorite blushes. I love the shade of it. I love the way it looks. It's got this beautiful sheen to it. It's very soft. It's just this gorgeous, gorgeous pink color. So I'm actually wearing this today on my cheeks as well. Um, here's the thing about this, and I didn't really think about this. Maybe if I was an experienced project panner, I would have when I started this, but this is a very like small, compact package and my goal on this was just to hit pan. I don't even know if that's going to be possible because this is so like condensed 
that I use this all the time and there is no sign of pan coming through. Like I can see a little usage just in the way the powder kind of looks, but I don't know how deep this is and I'm really concerned that I'll never hit pan on this this year. So I don't know, I am enjoying using it, but I just don't know about that part of it. You know, another product I'm wearing today is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. And let's see where we are on this one. So there's that one right there. You can see some definite progress. I use this all the time. I love it. I'm wearing it today. It's a really beautiful everyday peachy nude. It goes with so much. I don't want to use this up because I love it, but you know, I want to use things that I love. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and this is the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil in Noir Intense. And that is where we are on that one. And I don't know, it's just a black liner. I love it. It's nice and creamy. I just sharpened it this morning because I was going to use it and then I didn't. I don't want to like break off the tip, but there you go. Super black really easy to blend. I like using it on my lower lash line and blending it out a lot. It's really good for that. And I have two more lipsticks left. So this is MAC Sweetie. You guys, I'm so proud of myself. Look, I completely flattened it. I'm so happy about that. So it had started out as, um, you know, it still had a regular point on it. I kind of tried to draw the shape of it when I started, if you can see that but definite, definite progress on this. After I put this in the project, I thought to myself, you know what? I really should have put Max Syrup in the, pro in the project because that is like a really nice creamy nude with no shimmer. This one is like a sheer pink with just a tiny bit of shimmer in it. I do like this, but I definitely like Syrup more. I went to look for it last night because I thought maybe I would bring it in the project. I was thinking maybe when I was done this, I can't find it anywhere. And I think I lost it. I think I lost it because um, I dropped my purse in the winter time. Um, it, actually, I used to drop that purse a lot. It was a really awkward purse. And a couple times my lip products fell out and I must have just completely lost that one. So that was never in this project, but yeah, I was kind of sad about that. This next thing though, however, is really weird because I did lose, not this, but the other one. So I had started this project with D DR, DR, DR? What? I had started this project with the Dior Addict lipstick in Sherry Bow. And it's the exact same package as this. It's just a little bit of a peachy pink nude and really pretty. I wanted to put that and use it up. I used to take it to work with me all the time and I put it in my pocket. And I think I lost it at work. I think maybe like maybe it fell out in the bathroom or something. But anyway, I kept checking at work and it was not there. And that was the only place I could think that I would have lost it because I never really took that anywhere else. So it never, I never found it again, but I did have this one, which is incognito. And so that happened. I actually made a note of it. Yeah. February the 4th. So I had about a month's worth of progress on Sharibo. And then this one, I started February the 4th and you can see a lot of progress on that one too. So I don't really like the formula of these. I find them way too light. They just go away so quickly. They rub off your lips so fast. And so I don't really think they're worth the price tag, but thinking about how much I spent on this, I just decided, you know, I want to use them up. The very last thing in the project when I started was this. This is my favorite perfume, Givenchy Amourage. I love this. Um, I will leave the link to all the notes because I'm terrible at describing all that kind of stuff. But this is the line we started at, that black line, and that is where we are now. I hope you could see that. So it's not like I'm using it every single day as my only perfume, but I'm just making more of an effort to use it. And I have it kind of out closer to my desk than any other perfume. So I always reach for it first. So I think I've made some really good progress on a lot of this stuff. Like I said, I'm enjoying almost all of it. Really the only disappointment was that Maybelline brightener. I haven't gotten sick of anything else yet. So I'm really happy about that. But now I want to talk about a few things I want to bring into the project. So behind the scenes, I actually did add in a couple of these things and I wrote the date down February the 18th because, okay, first of all, this perfume here, this is flower bomb from Victor and Rolf. And this is, I guess they call it their travel spray. So it's not like a super mini, I guess, but it's definitely not even like, I guess they have like a 1.7 ounce and 3.4, you know how most makeup companies do. Anyway, so I have this in my collection. I like it. 
but I feel like I paid way too much for it. So I want to use it up and just get some use out of it. And as I was thinking about this and thinking, okay, you know, I really don't have a ton in here to use by the end of 2017. Like that's not a lot of product. So I thought I would bring this in as well. And that's where we are on that. So you can see I started that February the 18th. Am I holding it straight enough for you guys to see? I really hope so. So, you know, that's where we are and that's where we started. And then I also started using up, I have three of these face sprays. These are from different Korean beauty brands. And I like face sprays. I find them very refreshing. I really love using them, especially around like early afternoon when you're working and you're starting to get that ugh, tired. It's a really good perk up to just spray your face with one of these. But I was finding myself just forgetting to all the time. So anyway, on February the 18th, I decided to do that as well. So I marked this. You can see ton of use on this one. This is the Aloe Fresh one from the Face Shop. I really like the scent of this. Really nice face spray. This one is Aqua Aura from Tony Moly. That's where we are on this one. I don't like the scent of this one quite as much. And then this one is the Argan Oil in Water from the Face Shop. This is kind of like a dual um, like it's got two kinds of liquid. You have to shake it up first and I really like the scent of this one too So that's how much use I've got on those So I feel like just putting them in this project has really got me thinking more about using them So since I used up the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer I figured I would bring in another concealer and I thought I would use up this Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer in It's in the shade 230 Fair Light. It's really hard to measure this because it is a squeezy tube But I do like this concealer a lot and once I use up dim light from Hourglass set for setting my under, not setting my under eye, for setting my eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna move on to this. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and it's in the shade Dolce de Leche. I actually have a backup of this already so I figured it would be a good time to try to use this up. I actually really love this for setting my under eye as well so I'll be able to use this in two different ways. Going back to the Laura Mercier blush and the packaging on it and how I don't think I'm gonna hit pan on it, um, it got me thinking, I was almost thinking, well, should I just take it out and put in a different blush? But then when I thought about it, I thought, no, I love that blush so much and I've been enjoying using it so much. I started thinking about, okay, well, what other blushes do I absolutely love but I hardly ever use? And this is one of them right here. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Berry Pop. And I love this blush color so much, but I, and it looks pretty intense here, but it does blend out and it can be blended out really easily. But anyway, the point is, I just wanna get more use out of this. So I'm putting this in the project, not to use up, not to hit pan, not to do any of that stuff, just to make more of a conscious effort to use this and enjoy it because I do love it. So I'm just gonna put this in for the whole rest of the year and we'll just see how it goes. Maybe we'll wear away the daisy on it, who knows, but that's what I'm doing there. And then this as well, so um, not Makeup Revolution, Urban Decay has completely discontinued these. As far as I know, like they're on sale on Sephora's website. I've seen them like for half off and all that kind of stuff. So this is the Revolution Lip Gloss in the shade Fail Bait. This to me is just a really pretty nude pink. So I have a shade of this that's actually like a true nude, but I kind of wanted to use this nude pink because it goes with a lot of stuff that I like to use. That's what it looks like there. It's very pigmented. Um, it doesn't smell off or anything, but you know, this is getting up there in age and lip glosses don't last that long to begin with. And I just thought since I don't have a lip gloss in here, I would just try it and see. I don't think I'm going to use this up, but again, I just want to get some use out of it. And then since I used up the Revlon Lip Butter, I'm gonna bring this in. This is the Too Faced, what are these, they call these? La Creme Lipstick, that's it, in Juicy Melons. This is what is on my lips on top of the Charlotte Tilbury liner. The thing with this is I find that if you have any dry patches on your lips, it'll cling to it really badly and it won't look that good. Um, so, but it does look really good if your lips are fully lined. So I haven't marked this yet on a paper, but that's where it is right now. And I don't know that I'm gonna use this up, but with spring coming, it's a really nice spring shade. And I definitely just wanna get some use out of it in the spring. So my intention with this is to use it until the next update and just see where we are. If I don't use it up, I'll be completely fine with that, but I just want to get some use out of it as well. So that is it. 
I know this is kind of a long video. These videos always end up super long. They should be like quick updates, but I don't know why. I just get super chatty. So that's it for everything. Let me know if you're doing a project pan or any kind of panning um, goal thing for yourself. Let me know how it's going because I'm having a lot of fun with this learning some things along the way and I, I just I find it fun. If you haven't done it yet and you're thinking about doing it, just hop in. Like pick a few things. You don't have to pick this many, but just pick like five or ten and see how it goes for you. Um, it feels really good when you use stuff up, you know? So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet or if you're new here, I'd love to see you around in my upcoming videos. I've got a whole bunch of fun stuff planned for the springtime. So that is it for today. I'm going to the mall. I'm really hungry. I'm really craving like mall food, like Thai stir fry. That's what I want today. <laughs> so that is it. I will see you guys around in my next video. Love you. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.